Alrighty guys, hello, welcome back. Uh, we're gonna cover today quarantine shoulders. So obviously everyone's heard the governor's news, moderately not that awesome, but understandable. You know, we all need to do our part here to try and uh, decrease the spread of this virus. So with that being said, we're gonna continue to go forward with one more month of PFD virtual. Um, Greta's going to have some other specials and, and kind of stuff that we're coming up with uh, during the next couple weeks here, as well as some more yoga and other classes for you guys. So appreciate your support. Uh, let's jump in. We're going to quarantine shoulders. So I'm going to just kind of walk you guys through this uh, really quickly as far as like what I'm doing and what you guys need to be doing. Um, and then I'll put all the programming up uh, right underneath the video so you guys can follow along. Um, in terms of time's sake, I'm obviously, I'm just going to kind of whip through it. Um, if you guys don't understand something, by all means, shoot me a text, a uh, Facebook message or something, and I'll be more than happy to break it down for you. Um, but like I said, so we're going to start out uh, part A. I want you guys to spend five, six minutes uh, with your foam roller. Um, when we get into the foam roller, we're going to work on <clears throat> lats, right? So this muscle back here, kind of up into the armpit. We want to get the whole upper back. So let's make sure we get that. All right. And you can spend a minute, two minutes on each uh, position if something's feeling uh, more sticky, less sticky, and so forth. And obviously, you know, go ahead and keep rolling that stuff out and make sure you come back to it within the next day or two. Um, so for our purposes with this uh, quarantine shoulders today, right, just a little bit more mobility, some kind of activation if we're sitting forward or laying on the side or on the couch or anything there. You know, shoulders tend to kind of get really crunchy into that area, especially when we're not doing a ton of work with it so um make sure you spend time let's see upper back lats under armpits upper chest front head of the shoulder all this stuff uh above the shoulder below the shoulder we want to be able to move that should come through nice and freely so we said about five to seven minutes rolling out all of those and then uh we're gonna go something a little bit more into for the lats <clears throat> so i've got a chair down here it can be the couch it can be a bench it can be anything and every, uh, whatever works for you. <clears throat> um, for me, probably would need this a little bit higher to be 100% correct. But so for our demo purposes, you guys can kind of grasp what's going on here. <clears throat> so then I'm gonna have you guys take a piece of PVC or the end of the broom handle or anything that you've got there. We're gonna grab with the palms facing backwards, right? <clears throat> and I'm just gonna put the elbows uh, on the chair, on the edge of the chair, I'm gonna sit back, right? So I'm kind of trying to drop my weight back onto my uh, heels there. As I'm doing that, I'm placing pressure down here through my lats, <coughs> triceps, lats, and into that whole cavity there. From here, right? And I just back and release. So I want you to come to that end range of motion, whatever it is for you. Make sure that weight is back on the uh, the butt weighs back on the heels. We're sitting back, kind of pulling. And let's go through that 10 times. Um, or for about two minutes. We want to, again, hit that end range of motion. Squeeze, feel a really good stretch there. Sit back, pull that weight through the triceps and lats down. Open that stuff up there. Two minutes, 10 times, whatever works out best for you. Okay. <clears throat> From there... Uh, we're going to go just into a little bit of like light movement, stretching, mobility, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> uh, we're going to go through this one or two times through. Um, again, I, I will put the programming up so you guys will know, but I just want to walk you through it. Uh, start out, we're going to go just 10 neck rolls in each direction. Sitting, standing, kneeling, all of them will be fine. I'm obviously kneeling for the purposes of you guys seeing me uh, <clears throat> from there. 10 neck rolls, like you said, in each direction. And then we're gonna go forward arm circles. Like always, we wanna start smaller and we get bigger as we get into that. And we're looking for just about 15 here. From there, we wanna go backward arm circles. Backward arms, I'm gonna pull my fingertips back towards my elbows, all right? And again, start small and they get bigger. So I'm looking for about 15 to 20 there, okay? <clears throat> From there, um, we're going to go into just a little bit of kind of banded activation stuff. We want to get the shoulders kind of working and pulling and doing the things that they're normally supposed to be doing, right? A lot of us, I heard a lot of guys, right? Again, kind of crunchy shoulders, pinching shoulders. Um, none of this is going to be particularly harmful to any of that. It's most important thing is just getting some movement, getting some uh, 
stress load into the muscles, all right? So we're gonna start uh, cross body banded pull aparts. So all right, I'm gonna have one uh, knuckles up and then down, pull apart, pull it back to the chest, bring back with control. Okay, so on a diagonal there, all right? We're gonna go eight of those in each direction. Okay, again, this time we've got knuckles, palm, pull apart, and hold for a second. And let it come back. So eight of those in each direction. Switch the hands. <clears throat> From there, we're gonna go underhand pull aparts. So we've all seen these. Underhand. Okay, so we've got across the body, underhand, and then from there, we're gonna go into overhand, just like we would with our PVC. If you guys have the PVC, by all means, you're more than welcome to use those, <clears throat> or uh, grab a band, or something similar. If you're gonna grab the band, I want you to pull apart and hold that same length all the way through, okay? Hold, and all the way through, right? So as that uh, shoulders, hands are coming up, we're opening the chest there, big stretch like we would with uh, the PVC, okay? From there, guys, you're just gonna uh, go through that two to three times. Very last thing, just gonna be some light uh, strength work. So we're gonna go through this two to four times, depending again how the shoulders are feeling, how much time you've got. I know we all have a little bit of extra time these days. Um, so we're gonna go through this two to four times. I'm gonna start 25 jumping jacks. So hands clap above the head, behind the butt. Uh, from there, we're gonna go Shoulder taps, 10 on each side. <clears throat> so right, that just looks like we get in this plank position with the elbows straight, locked out. All right, so with that movement, we're just working on kind of shifting the weight back and forth side to side, loading up the shoulder and across the body, the core there, okay? Very last thing, we're gonna go push up from the knees or toes with a rotation at the top. Again, if you're having really bad pains in the shoulders, definitely let's stay away from the push-ups, all right? If it's just a little soreness, a little creakiness from not doing as much as we have been, by all means, go right ahead. Again, then push up with the rotation. <clears throat> and we go about six of those per side or 12 total. Other than that, guys, that is all we have. Please, please, please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you very much. Um... <clears throat>